Welcome back to Elevate Her by Jess Mars. I'm your host and today's topic is about trust, trusting yourself, trusting the world, trusting God. Just trust. Let's get into it. So I just want to start off by saying I had an epiphany and I'm sharing it with you because it's going to change both of our lives. I am so far from perfect and I'm okay with that. I used to be really like, I just need to be the best. I need to be the thinnest. I need to do this. I need to do that. I am who I am and I'm okay with it. I'm growing and I'm changing. I love it, but I'm okay with it, right? And all these things I'm sharing with you, I'm literally doing myself. I'm starting to do myself. I was really into this stuff two years ago and last year. And then as I started my walk with Christ, I completely neglected myself to the point where I was thinking so so negatively, which was actually shocking because... The whole point of working with walking with God is to get closer to him, which makes you feel better and perceive life better. But I was doing the opposite. So I thought, "Ah, let's do this together. Let's literally level up. Let's elevate each other together, elevate her together, because we are bringing the 2.0 version of ourselves always. And you're here because you want to better yourself. I'm here because I want to better myself. So why don't we just do it together? And then we'll see in a year time where we're at, which is really fun. So let's do that. In the comments down below, I want you to write where you're at right now in life. It can you don't you don't have to be super detailed if you don't want to share something, but this is a safe space. And then write in six months where you would like to be. Mindset, financially, romantically, spiritually. Let's do it. I'll share mine so you don't feel like you're alone. Right now, I feel like I'm in I'm at an okay place in my head. I'm at an okay place in my head. I just had to do a quick yawn. Don't know why. Because I feel good, but I feel like I think bad and then I force myself to think better. So I'm still in the whole limbo section. Financially, I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Thank God. I I, I hit a few rough um, points, you know. I'm not saying I'm doing amazing, but I'm doing pretty good. I can survive. You know, we want to get better. That's fine. Um, romantically don't have anything going on right now (laughs) and yeah spiritually I'm just kind of walking with God but I'm also trying to better myself right in six months I would love to meet someone hopefully my future husband and have uh, looking to buy a house that's actually one of my goals hmm have this podcast and YouTube channel fully operational and my Just Mars Beauty and my courses. So just be fully online and have a beautiful, lovely community who is bettering themselves all the time. And yeah, maybe write a book too. <laughs> who knows? And yeah, that's kind of me. Spiritually, I would love to have just a 85 to 90% great mindset, not feeling down about things, just letting go and just being free, fully loving and trusting who I am. And being around myself. Now your turn. (laughs) Okay. And this is a safe space. So please, you can say whatever you want. As long as it's not offending anyone else. And please keep the offending to yourself. Like don't offend yourself much. We're not, we're not about that life. Anyhow. Okay. Trusting yourself is really important. I'm going to share a little story just so you can understand. When I was younger, I was dating someone. I've only had two boyfriends, by the way. So anyway. Uh, I was dating someone that no one really liked and it it wasn't that he was a really bad person. He just was not the person for me at all. And there were so many factors that were going into it. And I was really young. I was 17, 16 when I met him, 15 actually. (laughs) I was a rebel. Anyhow, I'm not proud of it actually, but it is what it is. And I would always lie to my family about when I was going to see him. I would always lie saying I was going to work because I used to work at McDonald's. I would always lie about that. I would always lie that I was seeing a friend. I would lie about literally everything just so I could see him because I loved him, right? And then after we broke up, I remember it took so long for me to trust myself again to come to a place where if I said I was going to go somewhere or do something, I didn't have to fully justify it. I would justify everything (laughs) like it was kind of crazy I would literally take photos of my friend or take photos of where I was and send it to my family like oh this looks so cute just to kind of prove to them that what I was doing and saying is real but it's more so to prove myself that I wasn't lying anymore even though I knew I wasn't somehow subconsciously I still felt like I was I don't know if that makes sense but have you ever lied 
for a little while okay because I, I do this for a few years <laughs> and when you start to tell the truth anymore you kind of didn't even trust yourself you're like I don't I, I just need to double prove to myself that what I'm saying is true because I don't even know if it is like it was so crazy now that I think about it I didn't realize at the time I thought this was just normal but now that I think about it I'm like huh I really just wanted to prove that I wasn't lying anymore because I it's not good when you lie because it affects you doesn't really like of course it affects the other person but it affects you so much that you don't ever really believe what you're saying anymore and that's not a good way to live right it took me years to be to to actually be like actually I am a trustworthy person I don't lie it took years to get there isn't that crazy okay let me know if you've had a similar experience because that was that was very detailed (laughs) I've never said that out loud to anyone anyhow I just want to tell you don't leap for the stars I know everyone says do it and that's fine you should yes when it comes to what you want in life because who wants to live a boring life how dare I keep yawning it's more so when you want to trust yourself you need to take one step at a time I know it's a cliche but let's let's think of something if you try to take five steps in one go what happens most likely you're going to get wobbly most likely you're going to fall unless you have very super long legs or you're a gymnast or I don't even know what but even then you could only take a a certain amount yeah okay (laughs) we're still human and you're four and then you're set back further but if you take one step at a time you get to your destination quicker right so let's let's look at this for example I was watching a video and this video was talking about how to level up and how to be a better person and all that stuff and I loved it and I was like I'm going to do all these things I wrote a list. I'm going to do all these things tomorrow. Guess what? Did it happen? No, it didn't. I'm pointing because I threw it out the window. It got thrown out the window, ran over, but maybe five, six trucks. I couldn't even see what I was meant to do anymore because I put so much to do. I was like trying to change everything one day. It's one step at a time. So let's start off by doing one little thing i want you to write down below what's one thing and you can write this with your um where you are now and where you're going to be what's one thing you can do every day that's so small (gasps) that's so small rude that's so small that you can actually do i'll start off i am going to walk five thousand steps every day i know when i go overseas i'll probably walk like thirty-five thousand steps (laughs) But while we're here in Sydney, I'm going to walk 5,000 steps a day, which is actually very easy, especially like I have a little um, walkway around my house. I can just walk up and down. When I'm at the gym, I can go on the treadmill for a bit. 5,000 steps is so attainable that I know I can do it. When I used to be like, I want to do 10,000 steps a day because I want to lose weight and I want to look like this. Guess what? I'm not even kidding. I think I would do 200 steps. (laughs) yeah and I used to think I walked a lot and I'm like wow when I had a car everything changed so let's think of something small it can be literally making your bed every morning and there is no excuse I wake up sometimes at 3 a.m one two three in the morning and I still make my bed so I'm not going to say it's amazing but I still do it (laughs) so if I make my bed at 3 a.m what's your reason that's what I thought so it could be something very small it can be waking up 10 minutes earlier it can be I'm gonna eat a banana a day I'm gonna eat like if you're trying to eat healthier let's not rule out all junk food but you can be like you know what I'm not gonna eat chocolate tomorrow so that way you can still have a snack you can have like a biscuit or something but I'm not gonna eat chocolate tomorrow see how you're switching the way you're thinking and by you doing that every single day you will start to trust yourself and guess what happens when you trust yourself I had to lean closer because I could tell you, the more you trust yourself, the more when you say something, it will happen because you just know that is how it works. If you start trusting yourself and you say, okay, I'm going to have, for example, I tell my sister this all the time. I hope she can't hear me, but I tell myself, I tell my sister, start having more breaks. The more breaks you have without, with, throughout work, the more energized you'll feel, the more you'll get done, Right. She's like, yeah, yeah, no worries. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then guess what? Does she do it? No, she doesn't. 
Sometimes she does and she feels so good about herself and then other times she doesn't, right? And then when she doesn't, guess what? She gets annoyed and angry. And it's a domino effect because it happens to all of us when we say we're going to do something. Oh, we want to do this and we want to we want to look our best. But then guess what? Do you end up doing what you're meant to do to look your best? No, because you're putting way too much pressure on yourself. But if you're like, you know what? I'm going to have, for example, with my sister, I'm going to have a break. I'm going to have one break tomorrow. I'm going to have a 20 minute break. And you can just set that. And you can do that every single day. Guess what happens? When you say, you know what? After you do that for a little while, you start to form trust with yourself. I reckon I'm going to make... No, sorry. Let me rephrase. I'm going to make 100 grand a year. I don't know how, but I just know God will bless me with that because I trust myself. And me trusting myself means I trust him because through you, God lives inside of us, right? We have the Holy Spirit always inside of us. But when you can start trusting yourself, whatever you say will happen or whatever you want will happen to happen, It will because now you've just said it and you're the type of person that when you say something it just happens because you make it happen it just happens and if that doesn't happen something better will happen because you've conditioned yourself to trust yourself that much that you just know something better something greater will happen it's just how it goes but that can't happen if you don't trust yourself now I'm sure there are some things that you a hundred percent no like for me and i'm not trying to be cocky but i know if i put my mind something i'll do it i'm pretty sure everyone's like that every time i say i want to do something it just i always do it and it always works out better than i expected right it might take a bit long but it will my makeup career my i'll tell you in another podcast story but wow it took a while but we got to a whole place that i never thought i would be right because i said i was going to do it i had so many doubters so many doubters Okay, I'm just going to give you this example and to tell you how much I trust when I know something is just going to happen. I just know I have been working on trusting myself much more sometimes, especially when it comes to food. I am not good with it. I'm not good with it at all, especially when it comes to food. I will be like, I'm not going to have that chocolate. And then guess what? Tomorrow, my family will buy a Bavarian cake or pods. And then guess what I want? I want that. I'm like, great. I'm going to have one. And I have one. And then I feel bad about myself. None of that anymore. We're throwing that out the window with the trucks. I really believe that trust starts with you. Back to my story. My Instagram Instagram account got hacked. And this guy was trying to sell people Bitcoin. And my friend, she paid. I don't know how because I've never in my whole life talked about that. I don't talk about that kind of stuff on my stories. I talk about mindset. I talk about me. It was just a photo of um, you can make this much money and whatever. Anyway, she paid it. Everyone was getting hacked or business accounts. And I was so adamant I was getting it back because this has happened before. And I was like, you know what? I just know that when I like my, this isn't meant to happen. I just know that I trust myself enough to get this to keep like i just i just trust i trust in god i trust that this isn't meant to be how it is and i know this is happening for a reason this goes back to when i said you trust yourself you trust god you trust the world you trust things that just meant to happen for you right so two days go by everyone's like just let me know when you have a new account every single person the only people that believed it was going to come back And I don't know if they fully believed or if they were just being supportive was my brother and sister, right? The third day, I remember we were going out for my brother's birthday in Hamilton Island. And I kept trying. I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop. Whatever happens, happens. But I just know something. I just know it's going to happen. I just, I trust you. I trust you, God. I'm just going to leave it. I trust. (laughs) We were literally waiting at the bus stop. I get my phone. I get an email. I'm like, what? change your um change your email change your password put your um phone number in i was like what the bus had come at that point i was so excited and i was like to my brother oh my god i just got my account back and then they're like just go on the bus we'll catch the next one i got my account back in three days there were girls that were taking over three months and they still hadn't gotten the account back a year even i got it back in three days because i trusted that God will always work out things for me. And this was out of my control. This person had all their information as mine. 
literally i barely had any photos of myself it was just clients and the profile photo i did have of myself was so blurry and it was an angle it wasn't even my full face and i got it back when you start trusting yourself it doesn't just start with you it doesn't just end with you sorry it ends with everything so what that means is when you trust yourself you trust god you trust that things will always work out for you no matter what because that's just what happens like ah, don't you want that to happen so let's start off by doing one little thing at a time and you might be thinking okay but if i just start trusting myself how does that happen with god how does that happen with the world honey when you start trusting yourself more and you just know that when you say something it's going to happen you just know by you saying i just trust that i'm always taken care of you're always going to be taken care of i just trust that i always have money for everything you're going to always have money for everything. I just trust that I'm always protected. And you know what? If something doesn't really work out for me, it's actually working out for me. Because if I ended up having that thing that I was going to have, maybe I would have got hurt. Maybe someone would have done something to me that was unbearable. Or I'm going to get something bigger. But you only start trusting that when you actually start to trust the things that you say. And that's why when you say you're going to do something, you do it. And if you're unsure about something, Always say, I will get back to you. Even if they're right there. They're like, do you want to go for a drink tomorrow? I will let you know. My favorite, my favorite phrase. I'll let you know. I'll get back to you. Thank you. I will get back to you. And that's that. Simple. It's so simple. This really does stem from our childhood. My thing, I'm pretty sure, was the whole situation I was just talking about. Amongst other things. Because obviously, when you see things as well you can take it on without realizing but we're at a point now in our life where i'm pretty sure you're an adult watching this and if you're not wow good for you for watching at such a young age i honestly believe when you become 18 it's your it's your choice and it's your obligation to reparent yourself to the person you want to become so there's no more excuses about oh but my mom didn't do this my dad okay they did the best they could now it's up to you do you want a better life because if you do you got to take a small step so what's going to be your step today? I'm telling you, it can be really small, but start it. And then after a month, when you, when you just continue doing that thing, be like, okay, what's the next thing I want to do? And you can even do this like, I'm going to do this for a week and just say you're going to do it and you do it for a week. I'm going to do this for a month. I'm going to do this for a year. I would say start off small. Let's do a week. <laughs> let's do a day even. And then you can move on to a month. But it's about building that trust. When you meet someone for the first time, do you tell them all your secrets? No. Do you trust that they're going to do everything for you? No. It's the same thing with what we're doing right now together. We are learning to trust ourselves by getting to know who we are. And by doing that, we take baby steps. And you'll be so surprised at what you end up doing. Ooh, I'm so excited for this journey. Okay. Let me know what you thought of this video i'm really excited let don't forget to comment down below your beautiful things we're gonna start my one again is walking 5,000 steps a day i'm gonna do this until i leave i leave on the 19th of june so i will hold myself accountable because guess what i just told you that i'm gonna do it which means i have to do i really feel like i want to do it no but guess what i've said it it's out there i'm gonna do it and if it's raining, I'm just going to walk around my house. <laughs> I'll just do some, um, we have a gym set up. I'll just do some skipping. I was like, what is this? I'll skip. I can skip. I can go to the gym. There's a hundred things to do. Thank you so much for watching. I am so excited to be on this amazing journey with you all. Have an amazing, beautiful day. And I will see you in the next podcast. Bye.